Hi there, welcome to this Microsoft Excel tutorial. This tutorial introduces you to the brand new Excel 365 function that can drop unwanted rows or columns to return a relevant subset of data. When analyzing huge data sets, you may sometimes need to pull only the data without a total number of rows or columns, headers or footer. In earlier Excel versions, you would have to rely on the good old copy pasting techniques. In Excel 365, we have a special function to dynamically extract the desired part of the array by dropping the irrelevant data. If you want to completely understand the drop function, don't go away and watch this video till end. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Before moving to the practical example, let's first understand the draw function. The draw function in Excel removes the specified number of rows and columns from the start or end of an array. The syntax indicates equal drop bracket start array comma row comma column and then bracket close. In this syntax, Array is the source data or range. Row is the number of rows to drop. A positive value removes row from the start of the array and negative value from the end of the array. If omitted, columns must be set. Columns. This section indicates the number of columns to drop. A positive value excludes columns from the start of the array and negative value from the end of the array. If omitted, row must be defined. The draw function is only available in Excel for Microsoft 365 and Excel for the web. So let's learn how drop function works in Excel with the help of an example. For this purpose, we have the data about some research plan. First, I am going to delete some data so that it becomes more easier for you to understand. Now let's say if you want to remove last three rows from this data set. For this purpose, I will write equal drop bracket start and first select the whole array. After this, I will write comma and then because I want to delete these three rows from the bottom, so I will write minus three and then close this bracket. And here you can see that we got the data and we have removed the last three rows from this data set. I am going to press Ctrl Z to revert these changes. Now we will learn how we can remove a column from the data set. For this purpose, I will write equal drop bracket start select the array comma because we are not going to remove any row, so I will write again comma and this time want to remove columns from the right. Therefore, I will write minus 2 and then close this bracket and press enter. So now you can see that you have removed columns from the right. If you want to remove columns from the left, you will write the positive value. For example, if I change this minus 2 to the plus 2, it will remove the columns from the left. Here you can see it has removed the first two columns. I am going to press Ctrl Z to revert these changes. Now we will learn how we can remove columns and rows at the same time. For this purpose, I will write equal drop bracket start and then select the array comma I want to remove the last three rows so I will write minus three comma and I want to remove last two columns from the right so I will write minus two bracket close and press enter so here you can see that we have removed the last three rows and the two columns from the right in this way you can select the desired portion of your data by using the drop function and lastly, now we are going to learn different errors with the drop function. In case the drop function does not work in your Excel, it's most likely that it results in the following three types of error. Drop is a new function with limited availability. 
If your version is other than Excel 365, the formula will return as hash name error as if you misspelled the function's name. The second error could be if your draw formula is configured to remove all or more rows or column than there are in the array, the hash CALC error will indicate that there is nothing to return. The third type of error could be in case there are not enough empty cells below or right of the formula, a spill error occurs. To fix it, just clear the spill range. So that's all about the draw function in Microsoft Excel. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Microsoft Excel tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.